Hey everyone, um, just wanted to put out a quick video, uh, something I've been wanting to do. Came out here this morning and noticed that my saltwater system is showing low salt here. And that's a good indicator right now that you need to clean your saltwater system. And also, if you take a look at these plates here, let's see if I can get in here. If you take a look at the plates and you can see this white scaling here. This white scaling on the plates, let's see if I can get in there a little better. That's just uh, the calcification buildup of the process here. Um, so, first thing we want to do is turn off the generator, unplug the generator, and then take these two hoses off um, and put the caps on that come with your salt water system. Alright, so I turned off the valves which is a good idea. Turn off the valves for your intake and turn off your, um, you know, close the valve on your filter just so the water doesn't keep coming through the hose. Um, I want to show you a little bit more inside here of the white scaling. So when that builds up, it'll prevent your salt water system from generating the chlorine and we'll give you that little low salt light. So we'll cap these off here. Um, I also want to go ahead and take out the flow sensor. That just pops out and it only goes in one way. There's a little tab there, you can see. And then it goes right there so you know which way it's plugged in. And then what we'll do is, is then we'll go ahead and fill it up with straight white vinegar. Alright, so you can see we filled this up with uh, just regular old white household vinegar. Um, and then if you can see here, the vinegar is already starting to bubble and work on this uh, scaling here. So. Um, now the manual says to do this, let it sit for 45 minutes, but just in practice, I would say to give it at least two hours to really get all that buildup off of there. So we'll be back in two hours. All right, it's been two hours. Now what we're gonna do is get all the vinegar out. Let's see, you can see in there that the vinegar did a really good job of cleaning out all that scaling in there. So all we'll do is, we'll just go ahead, take these off. Another good thing I like to do is take my hose and just make sure and rinse out any additional scaling that's that's in there. So then all we'll do is we'll empty it out, put the sensor back in the way it goes and hook it all up and see if everything works good. Alright so we got everything hooked up again. We got our two connections hooked up we got our sensor back in here, our flow sensor. Um, make sure and turn your valves back on, on your pump and on your pool. Plug in your saltwater generator and then go ahead and turn your pump back on. And then when you start getting water in here, a good flow going, I'll go ahead Turn your salt water system back on and you're good to go. So if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments section and I'll be sure to help you. Hope this helps and uh, have a great summer.